Back on the throne of thought, ready to deliberate and answer your question as the Magnuside movement marches forward to one million subscribers. <laughs> That's the mule there. Um, got a question from, let's see here, from Boss Dragon. And he says, hey, Tyron, just watched one of your videos. You would be the perfect boyfriend. That's the name of the video. Uh, and, in, and in it, you mentioned us guys need to have an edge and not to give a fuck. To be honest, I have no idea what that even means. You're very brave for admitting that because I don't know any man that does not know what having an edge means. But maybe you're younger. And that's why you don't know. I'm going to educate you. Um, what does having an edge mean? What does not giving a fuck mean as well? I always hear this whenever I watch a video on Law of Attraction. Really? <laughs> um, but never understood what they meant. Thanks in advance and really hope you reach your 1 million subscribers. There is no hope. You believe that I'll reach 1 million subscribers. Just as I do. And I will crush all other YouTubers underneath my boot. But anyway, so, um, okay, I'll tackle what does having an edge mean. Having an edge can mean a few things. Having an edge uh, is a certain amount of swag, certain amount of coolness about you. It's an air of manliness, an air of being macho, okay, when you have an edge. You ever meet a guy, and he just seems like he'd fuck you up? That's also an edge. You seem like you're a fighter. Also, um, an edge is uh, um, when you maybe see a distinguished man. A man in a business suit that seems powerful. He doesn't seem weak. That's also an edge. Women feel protected around a man that has an edge. Okay? Um, it's all in how, how you carry yourself. Um, you're not easily a pushover. Like, uh, there's a girl that I was involved with and she told me one time, she was like, you know, I really like that you're nice and sweet, but you don't give in to me. You, you're, you're a real man. You stick to your guns and, and defend, um, your, your, your beliefs. You know, and, uh, you know, that's an edge. You have to have that as a man. You have to be a protector. You have to be a rock, a mountain, something that stands up for itself. You can't be a pushover. Okay, all these things encompass an edge. You know what I mean? Like a man that takes care of his family. That's an edge. I mean, really takes care of his family. He's the protector and leader. It's an edge. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's an aura. You know, some people might say an edge can't be explained, but I'm explaining it the best that I can for you so that you get an idea. All the alpha males you know or have seen have an edge. All the alpha males you see in the movies have an edge, okay? So... If you want to figure out what an edge is, go watch all the action movies you can, find the lead role male, and they've all got an edge. Go back and watch Terminator. Reese, he had an edge. Terminator 2, Arnold Schwarzenegger has an edge. Go watch Rocky. Rocky has an edge. Okay? You know what I mean? Go watch Fast Five. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's his name? The Rock has an edge, you know, The Rock has an edge in everything he does. Well, not everything, like the Tooth Fairy and shit like that, but, you know what I mean? Like, look at all these men, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Stone Cold Steve Austin had a damn edge, give me a damn beer, you know what I'm saying? Stone Cold Steve Austin carried himself 
as a man. Goldberg carried himself as a man. I was watching a video on the Ultimate Warrior, and Hulk Hogan is giving an interview on him, and he said he was a good guy with a maniacal edge. Yes, he had an edge. All these men have an edge. They're they're tough. It's an air about you. Okay, you can be tough, but not too tough. James Bond has an edge. Okay. Emulate the ones that you feel more encompass your personality, okay? Because we're all, none of us are original. None of us are original. We're all bits and pieces of what we've learned growing up. Some are more original, you know, to the left than others are, but you're all bits and pieces of what you've learned growing up. That's what makes you. You get what I'm saying? You know, there's firemen and policemen that have edges. You know, they're willing to save people's lives, put their lives on the line for other people. They have an edge, okay? Military, they have an edge. You know what I'm saying? And not all of these people in all of these fields have an edge. It's certain ones that have an edge. They have an air. And that's powerful to women. That makes them feel protected. That makes them want you. Now, maybe it's some things that I missed. I'm sure the magazines will post below what they think having an edge is. But another thing is, you asked me, what was it you said? Oh, what does not giving a fuck mean? And you may have heard that in um, Law of Attraction videos. Like, there's a lot of attraction recording I listened to when the guy's teacher told him, you know, in life and matters and business, you have to care, but not that much. And the reason why is because if you care too much, you start to worry. It starts to affect you. When you don't care, when you stay even keeled, you're kind of like, all right. You know, like, and, and to apply this to women, a lot of times women will say, um, like, for example, Women play these mind games sometimes, like if, for example, say you get a text message, right? And you don't answer right away um, because maybe you're busy at work or something, you don't have time. If you open your phone, you'll realize that you've gotten a second text message from her that says, oh, I guess I really don't matter to you in your life. And I would reply to that with an edge and not giving a fuck and saying, well, if that's what you believe, that's fine. I got to get back to work. That fucks a woman up. And see, I'm telling her, stop playing this bullshit with me. Don't play these mind games with me. I got better things to do than this. You know I care about you. Why didn't you just ask me, hey, how come I didn't hear from you? Then I would have answered, sorry, babe, I was busy. But when you answer like that, it's like, whoa, that fucks them up. That really messes with their minds. See, women like to chase too. They do like to know, they, they, you know what? And it's, it's weird, cause men are the same way, but you don't want something if it's too easy. You do not want something if it's too easy. So if she kind of feels like, like, oh, this, oh, this guy just doesn't give in to me. Then it's like, oh, okay, oh, they turns them on. Well, you know what I mean? It, now, it's not all women, but most women. You can't be a fucking pushover. And that's part of having an edge. You don't, you care, but not that much. You get what I'm saying? So, that's what I'm trying to message. I'm trying to convey to you, man. Hopefully you understand what I mean by that. There's a lot of other instances where you don't have to give a fuck. But, you know, you don't, you don't become emotionally ruffled when um, a woman says certain things to you. Because a woman um, is by nature more emotional than men and sometimes they'll get kind of, you know, impulsive and sporadic with their comments. And men are usually more even keeled. As a man, you need to keep that even keeled. You need to keep that because it will allow you to keep a level head and help you to solve your problems a whole lot faster and better. So when you are perceived as an immovable rock to her, 
sometimes it can be very frustrating for a woman, but at the same time, they'll respect the fact that you stayed calm, understood the issue, and talked it out. So to them, at first, you may appear as if you don't care because you're stoic. But the more you explain yourself and you talk, they'll realize that you do care and that you're just trying to get down to the bottom of things and not fight. Okay, so I hope I've helped you with this, man. Have an edge and don't give a fuck. Oh, man, subscribers. Woo!